Now, wave it around. Now, I would like to introduce a British soldier who took part in the Crimean War. Nice to meet you. Okay. I was just wondering, who fought in the Crimean War? The Russians and the Turks fought in the war. When did this war take place? The war erupted in 1853. When was the major start of this war? Russians were demanding the right to protect Christian shrines in Palestine. The problem was the French already had this privilege. Is it true that Great Britain and France also got involved? Yes, indeed. On March 28th, we the British and the French declared war on Russia because we thought the Russians would gain too much power. What happened in the result of this war? Many troops were lost on both sides. The main Russian fortress of Sevastop fell in September 1855. Russia ended up suing for peace, and because of the Treaty of Paris, Russia had to give up Bessarabah. More than 250,000 soldiers died in the Crimean War. 60% of these deaths were from diseases. Florence Nightingale helped us greatly. Who is she, and what did she do? She was a very nice nurse to our British soldiers. She always insisted us on being extremely clean. If it wasn't for her, more of us would have died. Now, I'd like to introduce this ruler from Turkey, Osman II. He's a very strong and dynamic ruler and really helped lead the, the Ottoman Empire. Nice to meet you. So, what made you decide to extend your settlement around the Byzantine Empire? It made traveling so much easier. Instead of traveling around Africa to reach one place, I extended it towards the Byzantine Empire to gain access to places where a canal could be built. The more trade, the better. You won the Battle of Kosovo in 1389. Battle of Nicopolis in 1396 established power in the regions you've beaten and expanded into Europe. What do you feel attributed to your overwhelming success? I have to honestly say our technology. Compared to others who were using muskets and cannons, while the opposing sides were using bows and short swords. How did you gain control of the trade routes between Europe and Asia? My army is one of the most advanced fighting forces in the world. We recruited the best and gave out our offered lands as payment. Our army was unstoppable. We focused on speed and mobility rather than heavy armor. With our naval expertise, we expanded on European countries, initiated conquest of North Africa, and added Algeria and Egypt to the list of many conquered lands by the Ottoman Empire in 1517. But unfortunately, our luck was beginning to run out. Why? What started to change? Well, for starters, Greece and Serbia began to govern themselves in 1830. Our naval powers began to go downhill. The economy started to decline and it would not sustain. Here we have Ishmael, a supporter of the construction of the Suez Canal. And tell me, who built the Suez Canal? Suez Canal was built a short distance traveled by goods from Asia to Europe. Before the canal was built, there were three other options to ship goods. One, land transportation the entire way, which was a very long time. Two, ship through the Mediterranean, load off the ship, move goods to either the Red Sea or the Arabian Gulf, and reload on the ship, 
which also took a very long time, or three, go around the Cape of Good Hope, which is very dangerous and also very lengthy. Um, approximately how long did it take to build it? It was built under the supervision of Frenchman Ferdinand de Lesseps by Egyptian laborers. Tell me, why did the British ultimately take control of the canal? The Egyptians were in about $430 million in debt, and the British occupied Egypt in 1882 to help repay it. And there you have it, folks. That was today's edition of Wake Up Valley Stream. On behalf of Destiny Thompson and Brianna Ford, thank you for watching our show, and I hope you enjoyed it.